How's it going guys? Back with another video and happy Halloween. Kind of disappointed I didn't post a lot for October and September, but I have been really busy and my scheduling couldn't like really help with that. I do apologize for that and I did post a lot of cool videos that I got. Um, I do have some stuff that are still on the shelf ready to be uh, posted, uh, like my Halloween Horror Nights uh, trip, which is a very long video. So just maybe in November, I'll try to get that out for you. Early, or, early November should be the latest the video should be out. If not, middle of November, doesn't matter. All right, um, enough babbling because I'm lazy and I had a prop video ready to go because I bought my first prop. Um, spoiler alert, it's not the Leatherface Party City prop I really wanted because uh, Party City didn't have it in stores and I refused to buy props online because I don't want them to get damaged as soon as they arrive to my door. Um, I was going to do a costume test video but I didn't really have anyone to help me record that so um, scrap that. Maybe that'll be like November 1st or like after Halloween. I'll probably get that one out too. And then that left me thinking like oh, okay what, what can I do for Halloween? What, what video can I like post because this I'll, I'll be real with you this is like legit day of halloween i'm recording this and editing i really wanted to post a video on halloween and i didn't know what to do but um watched a haunt former video gave me a cool little idea tots is removing their universal uh, masks their universal monsters uh h2 h3 masks um, just anything uh, remotely associated with Universal because of licensing. I think from what I understand it was like a rights issue through like Universal. This uh, essentially um, would be the last year f to buy these products on Hall uh, Halloween shelves, online, etc. Uh, which is which sucks if you haven't like gotten any of the Universal monsters or the H3 masks or like any of the uh, Chucky products. The ones I am gonna be doing a video on makes sense for Halloween is the H2 mask from Trick or Treat Studios, the version one that they've always had uh, every Halloween, as well as the H2 economy mask, uh, which uh, is a later variant, which I'll tell you why. Now I'll start with the H2. Um, I've never never uh had gotten this this is like the same thing with the h18 mask um that i did the video last time don't know why i i never got it i don't know if it was just because like younger me thought it looks it looks stupid because of like the neck or whatever but um i've grown to like it as i got older but um the thing with this this is the first uh, i want to say like the first michael myers mask that Trick or Treat Studios like put out that they got the hold of a license for. Uh, that's why you saw a lot of like H2 uh, tags. I'll even show this. The Halloween 2 tags. Paint wise, it's alright. 
Um, I've seen a lot of people rehaul these. So that's like the same thing with every Trick or Treat Studios mask because uh, the molding is amazing. Like this molding is pretty pretty good. It's just their paint job most of the time is like kind of like lackluster. Um, I don't have too many complaints on the paint job actually. I think it, like this one at least like blends in pretty well. And the only thing I would do is probably just like dirty it up like in Halloween 2. Um, sculpting wise, uh, this mask is pretty good. It does look like a Michael Myers mask. Hair, hair is pretty good. It's just standard hair that they've always had. And Michael Myers has that like terrible hairline right now. You have the Laurie Strode uh, stab right here when she like stabbed Michael. Nothing much else to say. I mean like it's a pretty good mask. I'm, I can even put this on too. A pretty good mask. Um, I also have my coveralls. I don't even know if I said that. Uh, but it's really for the time it came out. Um, this was did this did the job. It's not the best um, of the Trick or Treat Studio masks, of course. Um, in my opinion, um, later on they've created like from other movies, which look way better than uh, the H two. For the time being, this was the King of Michael Myers masks uh, for retail and whatnot. Mind you, this is a good mask. I still think you guys should pick it up before um, um, before the license uh, closes out on probably, the, I think, what was the end of the year? I think it's the end of the year. Uh, this wasn't also the only mask that uh, Tots had did. I'm sorry, I'm like looking at my dog right now. Um, this isn't the only mask Trick or Treat Studios uh, did for Halloween 2. They also had like cheaper routes. They, also, they had... Um, I know there was one point where it was just like this legit this part of the face but like you use your own hair which is weird uh there's the vacuum form mask where it's just legit like the f face and um another cheap route i have two I, I already have two of this one that i'm about to show but not only could you get this like if you didn't have the extra cash to get this, you can also get this uh, version of the H2 mask. And this version um, essentially is just kind of like the same thing with just paint, it's molded and painted on hair. I did get this before any other like higher end Tots mask or like any of the Michael Myers lineup. It's funny enough, I got both of these uh, on clearance at uh, Hot Topic during their Halloween. As you can see right there, 75% off is a really good deal. Um, it's just the same, I think basically kind of like the same mold, just with like molded on hair. Now with this version, I only, I want to call this version two because I think now they started to like put slits in the, uh, in the mouth because before they would, it would be like closed. And mine, I remember mine that I got originally from, I still have it, I, I'm just too lazy to grab it. But um, the economy mask that I had before I rebought it, um, this the mouth slit is just shut. It's just closed. You can like do things to it. <laughs> Sculpt wise, all right. Um, the only downside is like I guess the hair, but it is like an alternative if you don't have enough to buy this. Um, I, I want to say this too. I want to make a complaint. This used to be 40 bucks. I remember this being 40 bucks back in the day. I know inflation's a thing. It's 70 fucking dollars. Holy shit. Alright, I'm gonna try this on real quick. Oh shit. I'm asking my fucking microphone. Um, decent mask. I mean, you can tell it's Michael Myers at least. Um, I mean, that's that's just the only only real thing I can say about this. The mouse slit, I'll say with this, I don't like it at all. Hello, guys. Hello. I shot him six times. Shut up. I shot him six times. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I don't, I don't know how well it's gonna do or whatever. Uh, just this video is like legit like rush so it's not gonna be as good as my uh, other ones all right enough rambling thank you guys so much i hope you guys enjoy your halloween i'm the shape of horror
Where the hell did the mask go? What the fuck? Hold on, guys.